Welcome back to our playthrough of Ninja Blade. I am going to break this wall. I'm going to put my big sword in it. And you're going to cut it. And there it goes. Uh, it just snaps. And there's my master waiting for me instead of helping. Of course. Again. What a jerk. Oh, and that's the giant spider that we're chasing. Yes, I see it. This is not like normal ninja games. Well, what's that shining object at the end? That is known as an objective. That's just the light. Ah, he's showing you things again. So, earlier at the end of the last video I said we were done with the tutorial. I was incorrect. There can't really be that many more ways to jump. So. Well, I had the right idea. How did you? What? I had the right idea. Okay, I guess there's a wall I can break down here. Maybe I was supposed to fail, or maybe this is... A secret room. Yeah, it looks more secret room than anything else. See, so yeah, I'll charge it all the way up. And... Ooh, what were those things? I got an outfit. Oh, uh, how do you... Can put that on? I'm gonna see if I can put that on. Change outfits in between missions. Oh. Okay. Never mind. We absolutely need to put it on next. You like your sharp-dressed ninja. Absolutely. Okay, so let's try that again. Couldn't you just as easily just, like, run on that one wall? Um, no, the one that's on the right doesn't go all the way across, so you have to jump. Adrenaline boost! Enhances attack and defense. Is... Why doesn't that airplane have, like, any guns on it? Well, in Japan, in this particular version of Japan, there's no guns on anything. Just swords everywhere. Ah, see, he understands. Yeah, I think even their helicopters are swords only. Oh! Dude in the helicopter plane thing has a date, apparently. Does he have a name? Helicopter guy? Yeah. Um. Airplane guy. No, that's probably his name. Helicopter guy. Oh, you think he's gonna die, don't you? No, I'm just wondering if he has a name. He's gonna die. Ooh. Jeez. Okay, so everything's armored, basically. All right. Those, those parts were about not to be armored. Oh, that didn't go the way I was hoping it would at all. You know, and if you're impressed by this spider, think about this. This is like the first boss in the game. They're probably only going to get more ridiculous and over the top from here. And the pox thing wasn't a boss? Oh, I guess it was. Although I guess I thought of it more as a tutorial thing than anything else. This is the first real boss. Oh, so if I break off all of its legs, it'll fall down and I can hit the body. That's gruesome and sensible.
Oh, because you pull it forward. That is super gross. I'm gonna smack it in the face. Whatever else you can say about this game, they definitely did it just understand the giant stuff? spiders. It did. And look, it sent me all the way back here again. It knocked me backwards. Are you gonna send it back? No. Well, that's a new one. again. Oh, I'm gonna use my wind shuriken and hit both of them. I was kind of hoping it would have cut off both of them. Close enough. And again, right in the face. I have no idea what I just broke off. Well, it was one of its arms. Oh. Yeah, let, let's go for the dangly bits. Hey, what? Hey, I'm not sure what's going on either. Oh, I see. Okay. No. You don't see yet. Okay. That's what's gonna happen. There's small enemies. Kill the small enemies. Then it stabs one of its arms in there. Is there something hiding back there? In like the back corner? Yeah. Uh, I'll head back there in just one second. Um. Yes. Adrenaline boost. Good. Oh, the switching between weapons is slightly awkward. As you saw, I wasn't quite able to do it fast enough to hit the arm. Ah! You see that? That kind of sucks. Okay, I'm... You know, if I just use the heavy sword for everything... Let's... There we go. Cool. I really don't want to keep on switching to my small swords just for those guys. Okay, so that's a quarter of the way there. Oh, look, and it has to use its last leg when you break off the other ones. That's realism. And then it just falls over. Oh, and then I'm gonna get stabbed in the butt. Stabbing in the butt. <laughs> that works surprisingly well. I'm not going to be lucky enough to be able to kill it with this, but that's still... Yep, and then it's going to regrow some arms. But they're all unprotected. I'll just keep my small swords out then. If I don't have to worry about the armor, there's no reason not to.
If you jump up, can you... Yeah, you can hit them while they're up in the air. With my other weird air thing? Yes, your weird air thing. And if he would just drop it again... My shuriken magic is not as effective as I was hoping. There we go, that is exactly what I wanted for my shuriken magic. How it doesn't know better, I'll never understand. How it doesn't know about what? No better. Well, it's waiting for its arms to come back. I mean, it's not really in a good place right now. Yeah, I'll take all those, and here we go. I will Tadomi it. Oh no! Baby spiders! You now that guy really could have warned me before I stabbed it in the egg sack. Which means that all of this and the boss fight's like only halfway done. The rest of it might very well be button pressing now. I can handle button pressing. I am already doing derby and chewed on by a spider. Yes! Hit it with the giant ball. What? You say that like it's ridiculous. Also, it didn't throw you, did it? Oh, well, that's kind of trippy. I have no idea how anybody could complain about this game. Look at that. <laughs> okay. I just, like, a wrecking ball just into its face. See? That was easy. Why is your pilot American? All units converge on the Metropolitan Government Building. Primary threat localized and contained. Nuclear King. Maybe we're gonna get to find out what that other sword does. His plan is nearly finished. Master. Oh, it's gonna have babies. Everyone on your guard. Stay alert. Move to your positions, just as I taught you. Yes, sir. Why is, like, nobody else? And that one guy has a gun. That's the American. <laughs> Um, why did he just stab one of our guys? What the hell? Kudo, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. I... <laughs> um, I, th I think he's a bad guy. Shoot him. It would seem that way. Oh, he's gonna be evil too. Crazy. Attack! I don't what um You don't um what what? Is he a bad guy now? That's what Certainly it looks like. Seems that way. I think we just got betrayed somehow. See those guys are also Americans. <laughs> what no way. Come on. In a world filled with building-sized spiders, that is 100% logical. What the hell? What the hell? No, wait. Don't!
He's gonna. Oh, he just got dead <sighs> in half. We lost our American. Oh, man. Oh, so it was Andy. Should have stayed in bed this morning. Andy, I'm sorry. I. Uh, I had no idea that everyone I worked for was evil. But why would. Just the three of us now, Ken. Uh, because Join plot twist, giant like spiders and ninja magic make you evil. Join us. Join you. I don't even know who you are anymore. See, I already know he's gonna lose. Like, there's no way that this would be the entire game. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Accomplished doing what, though? There's a bunch of things taking over, like Tokyo. Ninja Blade. You can't draw it, it's chained together. He's gonna kill me. Yep. What? All my blood. Is his dad? Sorry, but this is kind of confusing. <laughs> Either this is a bunch of random things, or this is going to make sense later. Let's go. Whatever. Um. And why would you ever? Why wouldn't you like disclose this to your son and like not the? Clear other bad guy. Why would you stab him and leave him with the good sword when obviously there's still like 80% of the game left to go? The villain's clearly not very smart. Um, alright. Magical sword time. You're not surprised. You already knew the sword was magic. See? Magic again. Hey, control, this is rescue. We got a survivor. He's alive, losing a lot of blood from the hole in the heart. The body. I repeat, do not touch the body. This blood is highly toxic. Don't come in any contact with exposed fluid. Do you copy? Yes, sir. He's gonna throw up on like all of them. Do you think the sword's good, or do you think the sword's evil? Because it kind of... I think the sword's evil. It kind of looks like an evil sword with the red chains, but at the same time, it got out of his body, so... So, Ken handled getting stabbed in the heart pretty good. Yeah. And there we go. Title screen. That's where it begins. Ninja Exterminator Crew. Also, your dad killed you. Surprise! Happy birthday! <laughs> there we go, that's a mission. A plus. Oh, a D on damage. Only a ninja can. Not a ninja. That's because I didn't use the block button enough. Now you can change your, uh,. Outfit. And I'll put on my snazzy suit. No, no leaderboards for me. It was July 7th, 2011. While investigating reports of unlawful weapons trafficking, peacekeeping forces encountered an unclassified carnivorous species occupying a small village in northern Africa. Those are rats. Creatures were easily provoked. That's not very unclassified. Eight specimens were encountered in the region now referred to as Ground Alpha. Only four were successfully contained for study. Victims of the attack were quarantined. Hey, you notice that Japan is centered on the map? 
Yeah. The victims displayed signs of internal liquefaction and accelerated necrosis, similar to symptoms of other flesh-eating viruses native to that region. Such as Ebola. It wasn't a viral outbreak. It was a parasitic infestation. A previously unidentified species of hookworm was found beneath the skin of the ground alpha specimens. These parasites, we call them alpha worms, laid dozens of eggs inside their hosts, which in turn produced numerous larvae. These larvae penetrated the bloodstream and triggered a variety of genetic failures. Such as death. Unlike most genetic failures, these symptoms were not fatal. Instead, infested victims were larger, stronger, and driven by hunger. We quickly lost control. We were left with no choice but to contain the infestation by... Ah, Japan. the nuclear option. Japan nuked Africa. Spread panic. The incident Oops. was reported as a nuclear weapon failure. Using the research gained from the ground alpha specimens, we quickly assembled a team of some special individuals. Minor outbreaks occurred over the next few years. Uh -huh. There's only like two in America. I mean, Europe's not doing so good. Northern Africa's wrecked. Oh, and so's Tokyo. Goodbye, Tokyo. So I'm assuming conventional methods means bullets won't work, but blades will. Magic swords, yes. Can do nothing. Is this it? Will you bomb us too? Oh, that's the American president. Not exactly. We use a laser now. Are you gonna bomb us again? What? As we speak, the satellite-guided laser is positioning itself over Tokyo. This laser emits concentrated high-energy microwaves capable of extreme destructive force. Its blast would purge the city of any parasitic trace. Seems fine. Much more effective than a bomb. Unfortunately, we still haven't solved the problem of human casualties. But my city, how could you? Well, it's full of evil worms. So, look, I mean, I wouldn't want the city either. We did before. God help me, I swore we'd never do it again. We cannot let this infection spread. Many, many more lives would be lost if it did. So, is that it? Carrier numbers are spiraling out of control. And it's true. We lost most of the team in the incident the other night. But we still have Kanogawa. Oh, so I'm the last hope. If I fail, they nuke the city. Man. Cool. I think you should just nuke the city. Even Ken doesn't fully understand. But that boy is special. Of course. Well, I mean, I survived being stabbed in the heart. And saved Tokyo. It's him. How's he doing, Doctor? Honestly, Agent, he's lucky to be alive. The blade came within millimeters of a vital artery. It would take a master swordsman to make that kind of mistake on purpose. He has work to do. You have work to do. You know, the president, in spite of vouching for the main character, actually seems slightly evil. Oh look, only 25% infection rate. We'll be fine. It's day one. Mission two, all right. Customized character. I'll do that. Oh, and you can edit the colors, too. That <laughs> is hideous. All right. I'll do it. What about the other colors? Why do you want me to do this? This is not... Okay. Because he could be so much cooler, okay? 
none of this is... Uh, he's gonna have blue pants to go with his red shirt. Where's my pants? Is, is it clothing? See, edit the color three. If you wanted to make it more red, you can uh, reduce the other one. No, he can have green pants. There we go. Why is he gonna have green pants? This is awful. Okay, I am ready to go and exterminate some uh, worms. Okay. In your fabulous colors. I'm not gonna be able to take this game seriously anymore. Like you could, anyways. Before? I was taking it relatively seriously. Okay, in we go. Let's see. I do wonder if it's going to change it in the cutscene. Oh, it is. It's, <laughs> uh, I want to see how bad this looks in motion. <laughs> see, everything's black and serious. Carrier numbers have skyrocketed. Registered high is almost triple. Are you ready for this? Do I have a choice? I'm ready. I put on my red and green suit for this. This is critical. The committee's agreed to push the sterilization a few more days, but if you fail, they'll pull the plug early. <laughs> Good. Now listen. Oh, God. But heat signatures have continued to grow below the ground. <laughs> Um, that's only the first costume we found. I wonder how good the other ones are. What is, it? is that a giant slug? It's like, it looks more, yeah, some kind of eel slug hybrid. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, guns must work. I guess the only thing to do is just to aim at it a lot. But don't don't shoot the helicopter. It's Wait. already going down. Change ammo type. Um. Ooh, big bullets. Little bullets. Big bullets. I'll see how I feel about the big bullets. You know, the big bullets were probably not the right solution for those little enemies. Look at all those regular people down there just driving as if there's nothing going on. I mean, surely they know. Maybe Japanese panic. Japanese people just panic in a different way than people everywhere else do. Much more orderly. That. Uh, there's the worm again. Big bullets. Big bullets. Wait, you are. Come on. I... Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, I think that was supposed to happen. I need to push the button faster. I can do that. Oh, I was all it on the X button. It. Oh, that's very clever of them not letting me plan ahead. See? Three times in a row. Well, guy, if you're gonna crash, at least try and crash into the giant slug. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he still looks so fine. You know, we probably could have made something not hideous looking. But having seen this, it's going to be hard to go back to Serious Ninja. Well, as if the game was serious enough at all. It's going to make it even harder to take it seriously. I wonder if we could make it an even uglier color. You know, I, all white might not be bad. You're inside. On the original uniform, all white. Was it just black stripes? Well, no. Oh, no, original just, one. Yeah, the original uniform, just color everything. Oh, yeah, I was too busy imagining. Attention. I'll save my ninja fashion for later. Now. Look, it's like an evil cinnamon roll. <laughs> Ooh, it's an impaler leech. Probably for inflicting damage on an enemy that they may be blocking. Or maybe yeah. if something's perfectly timed, it deflects attacks. That also might be it. And I will Tadomi him in just one second. Yeah, I'll get those guys. I'm gonna tear off his shell. That seems needlessly elaborate. So does everything. <laughs> okay, did you is, is, just yes. use swords as just ice beat. skates? Okay, sorry. What were you saying? Big signal, headed your way. I get to run away. Okay, so now we're How is there not already in mass evacuations from the city? Well, remember how we noticed that they didn't seem very surprised? It's possible that nobody's evacuating because this happens like every other week. Between, you know, Godzilla and yeah. everybody else. Yeah, God no, Godzilla was last week. This is... Was Moth Mothra, was that Japanese, or was that... Yeah, yeah, it was. First and third week, Godzilla. Second and fourth week, Giant Bugs. Another oh, so there's two... Ah, boss fight time. 
Uh, I'll head up to the top. I'll try heading up to the top again. Like, what am I supposed to do with it? Okay, that's what I'm supposed to do. He bites the ground. I stab him. He tries to smash me. I stab him. I've got a feeling that we're going to get this guy down to half health. And then the second one's going to show up. Oh, see? Okay, that might not be... He might be nearly dead, because you saw I was doing damage pretty quickly there. Only he would be nice enough to grab onto something up here. Oh, there you go. You got your wish. I got half of my wish. I thought I dodged. Maybe you can jump on top of his head. You know, I'm just gonna go back down. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't feel safe up here. You know, I'm not safe up here. I'm gonna die. I guess that's what I get for saying that, look how easy this is, look how well this is going. I didn't take any damage, so maybe. Ah, and the answer to that is no. Blocking does not... In and I was killed by a bat? I was killed by a bat? Alright. Oh, you know, I will... I'll fight the giant slug again next time. Thank you very much for watching.